As I said before, in view assets, we work with a lot of different clients, but we're we're mainly a B two B business. So we don't do anything direct to consumer, um, and we typically work with, as I said before, large organisations with a lot of assets. Um, and I just want to give you a couple of examples of things that we're doing because I think they're they're really useful sort of use cases, and they perhaps illustrate the advantages um, that we were talking about earlier in terms of you, you know being able to talk about the, the pounds and pennies and pence and all of that sort of thing, but also the social and the environmental advantages of doing something in a different way. So disrupting that traditional workflow. So the first one I want to talk about, and I've only got a single slide on this, but I want to talk through it with you, um, is an example uh, that we've done for the University of Exeter. We carried out this work in the summer of 2023, uh, last year. And their challenge was that they basically, as part of their planned preventative work at the university, uh, this is a you know this is a pretty large university um, with a lot of buildings on site. We reckon it's got about three hundred buildings or so uh, that we had to survey. They wanted to develop a tendering opportunity for gutter cleaning and maintenance. Now, that's not very exciting, is it? I, I don't think it's particularly exciting, but. For the university in this state, this is something that probably keeps people awake at night, uh, working out how to do this more effectively. Uh, and if you can imagine a large estate, then what the estate has is lots of buildings in lots of different positions with incomplete information. So the traditional way of doing the gutter cleaning is to uh, employ either an external contractor, and, and before this they've been doing it internally, is to basically say, well, we've, we'll clean this building once a year. We'll do the gutters on it once a year. And of course, that's a huge waste of resources because there are some buildings where they are uh, overhung by trees or in areas where you get lots of accumulation of debris and lit leaf litter into the gutters and others when they're in very open areas uh, and they're quite high up and quite elevated where there's very little debris that ends up in the gutters. So what they needed to work out was how they could get a effectively a dynamic gutter cleaning program having understood more about their asset and they also wanted to outsource it as well so it's almost doing two things uh, in in, in uh, one example of a kind of use of your drone technology so what we were employed to do was to do a couple of different things is that for every single building they wanted a CAD roof plan of it uh, so I, I might be just be able to show you actually an example of that. I think I've got one on the um, one up here that I can just show you. So here's here's an example. Um, and actually for this, we used a mixture of drones to do this. This was done with a Mavic Mini. Um, uh, didn't take very long at all, but it produced an ortho, which is what they needed. And we talked about the level of accuracy with a Mini flying relatively low. It's not great. Uh, we didn't use any kind of ground control points or anything like that. Um, it was purely to get an idea of the roof layout from the CAD. So in terms of accuracy of this, it's definitely perhaps centimetres. And even flying that at about 20 metres or so, I can't remember we did it exactly above the roof. It's probably at best five to 10 centimetres in uh, along the length of the building. But we then produced um, a really simple 2D CAD of the plan of that roof and a DWG file as well for the client. And we did this for every um, single building uh, in their estate. And so they were able to, uh, to take that data. So that was one of the outputs. And we also took photographs with the drone of the uh, round the outside of the building of the state of the gutter at the moment. So we sort of flew at 45 degrees all the way around the perimeter of the building, taking a continuous set of photos as well, quite close on the guttering. So they could see the condition of the guttering and how much debris was in it. And then we did a fly round orbit video of every building as well. And all of that was put together into a tender package for uh, the gutter cleaning contract. Now, this would have been a big contract. Um, as I said, probably about 300 buildings on this state. There are split sites. They've got one in the centre of uh, Exeter University and another site in uh, actually at the university itself. Um, I would imagine that this is annually worth something like half a million quid, probably a bit more for the gutter cleaning uh, to an external contractor. 
But one of the key reasons they wanted to do it like this, so they produced a tender pack, was that it enabled the, uh, the, the people wanting to tender for it to have a complete set of information, contextual information about what it was they were up against, uh, what they had to do. And also it allowed them not to basically say after they'd kind of embarked on the tender or embarked on the work, say, well, I didn't know that building was like that. So they had complete information and there was no sort of comeback. Um, when we did this, we produced about 200 gig of data, 17,000 separate uh, files that included CAD images, orthos, all of those sorts of stuff. And we delivered it ahead of schedule and uh, ahead of budget. In actual fact, it cost us slightly less days. We were quoting on a day rate to do it rather than an entire job rate because it was complex as well. Um, and we delivered the cloud-based um, sort of data on a big spreadsheet for them as well. Um, and that meant that there was we were doing a lot of the meeting work with the university using teams and things like that. So we we're reducing the carbon footprint um, as well. And the other thing that this is being used for as well is that sort of sustainability agenda, understanding more about what uh, the roofs are like, their condition and particularly the volume of their guttering, how much water they can handle. So that was that was one example of a piece of work we did.